Welcome back to another video. This video is the continuation of Flutter animation series. In our previous video, we have completed our animation functionality and created some functions to dynamically change the images, animal names and their description. So now what we will do is we will create a button as you can see in the app preview from where we will call our function to change animal details whenever the user pushes this button. So without any further delay, let's jump into our Android Studio. So first of all, what we will do is we will use boxfit.contain for our image which will allow it to be as large as possible while still within the bounds of the parent widget. So now let's move towards our main objective uh, which is to create a button uh, from where we can access our function so that uh, we can change the animal details. For this purpose uh, we have to uh, go to our parent widget that is a stack and inside the children uh, at the last uh, we will uh, use an elevated button and uh, the child will replace a child property with a text. Uh, let's uh, use text and uh, give it a name of explore more explore more so and now uh, on pressed uh, we will part uh, we will uh, pass an empty uh, callback uh, so now if we reload our project uh, you can see that the button is at the top left corner of our screen because we are using stack and we haven't aligned this button so what we will do is uh, we will now uh, wrap our elevated button uh, with the align widget and uh, after that uh, we will uh, set the alignment to alignment dot uh, bottom center so now if we reload our project uh, you can see that our, our button is at the bottom of our card uh, but we want to give some padding from below so we will wrap elevated button inside a column and then we will use size box and we will give it a height of 20 pixels because we are using column uh, that's why we have to set its main axis alignment uh, to main axis alignment dot end so now if we reload our project you can see that the button is at a perfect position where we want it let's remove all the errors uh, by using constant and inside our callback in on pest let's call our function random number So now if we reload our project and uh, press the button uh, as you can see that uh, the animals are changing uh, when we press the button. But if it, the animals are not repeating themselves because we have uh, implemented the functionality that the animals should not repeat. Now our uh, button is functional uh, so let's uh, give some style uh, to this button for this purpose we will use style and uh, we will use elevated button elevated button dot style from and inside this uh, we will uh, use padding and we will give it a, a padding a, a symmetric padding as incest uh, dot symmetric and for horizontal padding uh, we will give it 32 pixels and for vertical uh, padding we will give it a 16 pixels so now if we reload our project uh, you can see that uh, our button is a little bit bigger and uh, after that uh, we we want to give some elevation uh, to this button so that we can have some uh, shadow effect for this purpose we will use elevation and give it a value of 4 uh, as you can see that there is a beautiful shadow uh, under the button so now uh, let's give a, a style to our text uh, for this purpose uh, we will change uh, the font weight to font weight dot bold and if we reload our project you can see that the text is now bold and uh, let's increase uh, the font size also uh, for font size uh, we will give it a value of 18 pixels and now if we reload our project you can see that uh, the button is looking more beautiful now than it was before let's give a background color to our elevated button for this purpose we will use custom color white now uh, our button functionality and styling is complete uh, as you can see that our button is working fine and the animal details are changing uh, without repeating themselves so now uh, what we are missing is uh, we are missing our uh, bubble animation view uh, because we had uh, commented out uh, that line uh, so that we can focus 
uh, on our image and uh, the circular gradient so now let's uncomment this line and let's add constant to remove this warning and after that let's restart our application uh, it will take uh, some moment and when the uh, application is restarted you can see that there is a beautiful uh, animating uh, bubbles across our uh, card uh, which uh, makes it look more aesthetic now if we press the button uh, you can see that the images are changing also so uh, this is it uh, for this uh, series hope you have enjoyed and learned uh, from this series please make sure to like this video and leave a comment if you like this series and please subscribe to my youtube channel as it provides fuel to my motivation to keep grinding and share with all of you people what i know thank you so much